Math 1314, Tyler Jr. College, section 5.2, three by three systems of linear equations. Solving a three by three system of linear equations, another example. On the board, you see a three by three system. Uh, if you followed what we did in the previous video, I invite you to pause the video and see if you can solve this one. I do want to point out that the second equation is missing a y term, but that actually changes nothing. In fact, you can take advantage of that. I'll show you how in a minute. So I invite you to pause the video and see if you can solve it by first reducing it to a two by two system, solving the two by two system, and then finding the third value. All right, maybe you paused the video, maybe you didn't. Either way, I'm about to solve it. The hardest part about starting a three by three system is making these initial choices which pair of equations, which variable to eliminate. But if you understand that your goal, initial goal, is to reduce it to two equations in two variables, a two by two system, sometimes you can take advantage of what's in front of you. For example, this second equation already has just two variables. So why don't I make a two by two system that has only X's and Z's? Now don't get me wrong, you can eliminate any variable you want twice. I can do the same thing I did before. Choose these two, eliminate the Z, choose these two, eliminate the Z, and create a two by two system that has only X's and Y's. But if I'm gonna make a two by two system by making an equation with two variables, why not take advantage of one that I already have? So I'm going to kind of bend this a little bit, because if you already have an equation with two variables, I would take advantage of it. Here's how you would take advantage of it. If we number our equations 1, 2, and 3, I'm already halfway to a 2 by 2 system. If I take equation 2, which is 2x plus 4z, I'll close the gap where the y would be, equals 20. To make a two by two system, I need another equation with x's and y's. So let me pick a different pair of equations and eliminate the y. I really don't have a choice. It has to be equations one and three. Because I'm gonna pick equation two and one, I can't eliminate the y's. There's not a pair of y's to cancel. Same thing with two and three. So let's set up equations one and three specifically with the purpose of eliminating the y to give me another equation in x and, c, x and z only. Let's think about how to set this up. In equation one, the coefficient of y is positive two. In equation three, the coefficient of y is negative one. If the second equations, if the third equation's coefficient of y was negative two, these would be an opposite pair. I can make a negative two appear here if I multiply the entire equation by two. So we're gonna multiply the third equation by two, but leave the first equation alone. First equation, x plus two y minus two z equals two. Two times the third equation. Two times three x is six x. Two times negative y is negative two y. Two times negative two z is negative four z. And two times 19 is 38. At this point, the y's are ready to cancel. And if I add my equations, I get 7x, no y's, negative 6z equals 40. We'll call that equation four. It's our first new equation. Equation four, along with equation two in its original form, is a two by two system in x and z. Again, if you're solving a three by three system and your plan is to shrink it to a two by two system, but one of your equations already has just two variables, take advantage of it and use the other pair to eliminate the variable that was missing in the first place. Let's solve this two by two system. We need to pick some well-chosen numbers to multiply by. It doesn't matter which one we get rid of. Let's get rid of the z's. Why not the x's? I can get rid of the x's. I just have to pick something and go with it. 
you can get well chosen numbers by simply reversing these, these coefficients as multipliers. Put a 6 here and a 4 here. And since they're opposite signs, they would go ahead and set up opposites. But that's the default technique that will always get the job done. Sometimes you might be a little bit more observant, such as saying, hey, the coefficients of the z's, I can make them both 12s. By multiplying the second equation by 3, and the, I'm sorry, the first equation by 3, and the second equation by 2. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. There is always more than one way to set up a, a, an opposite pair for elimination. The way that requires no thought is switch these numbers and change one of their signs. But let's run with the 3 and the 2. If I triple this equation, I will get 6x plus 12z is equal to 60. If I double this equation, I'll get 14x minus 12z, there's my opposite pair, equals 80. And if I add these two new equations, 6x and 14x is 20x, the z's cancel, 60 plus 80 is 140, and if I divide both sides by 20, I get x equals 7. Be careful, we haven't finished step two. Solve the two by two system, we need to find the other variable down here. We need to find z. So let's take x equals seven and put it into either of these equations. Let's just use equation two. Two x plus four z is equal to 20. Put the x is seven, so two times seven plus four times z is equal to 20. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 4z is equal to 20. Subtract 14 to get 4z equals 6. And divide both sides by 4 to get z equals 6 fourths. Ah, well, it's, it's a fraction. Big deal. I can reduce it to 3 halves, though. That's going to happen. At least it didn't happen until the end. Oh, wait, we're not at the end. We're only 2 thirds of the way done because we know two-thirds of the variables, and we've done two-thirds of the steps. To complete the solution, we have to find the missing variable, which is why, just go back to any original equation. Well, don't go back to this one. You can't solve this one for y. It has no y to solve for. Let's go to equation one. Let's take the two values that we know and substitute them back into equation one. Equation one says x plus 2y minus 2z is equal to 2. We have x equals 7 plus 2y minus 2 times z, which was 3 halves. Oh, well, that's supposed to equal 2. Let's clean up the fraction. 7 plus 2y on the fraction, the 2's cancel, leaving a minus 3. Let's combine the 7 and the negative 3 to get 4, plus 2y equals 2. Subtract 4 from both sides to get 2y equals negative 2. Watch your signs. Divide both sides by, by 2 to get y equals negative 1. Our solution seems to be 7, comma, negative 1, comma, 3 halves. And although I didn't mention it in the previous video, I think it's pretty obvious. You can check your solution by substituting all three values into all three equations and make sure that it makes all of them true. Uh, I've only got one more video in this series. There's not really a lot of techniques to discuss without going beyond the scope of this particular section, but I do want to show you an application.